This is a cloud virtualization track. The talk is called Virtually Owned Pen Testing Virtualization. Please give a warm welcome to Claudio Grishione. Thank you, Alex. So, can you hear me? No. Okay, fine. Can you hear me now? Better? No? Nice start. Okay. Um, hello to everyone. Is that working? Perfect. Okay. I okay. Better. Okay. Hello to everyone. I'm Claudio Criscione, and this talk will obviously be about pen testing virtualization. We all have had lunch, so I'll take this one easy and just wake you up before the demos, okay? So relax. A little about me. Um, as you might have guessed, I am from Italy, a country which you most likely know for our pizza, mafia, and the crappy soccer team. Um, um, I work as a principal consultant in a small um, security firm based in Milan, Secure Network, where that's my day job. And during the night, I am a PhD student for Politecnico di Milano, which is Milan's technical university, where I will finish in 2000s, well, in 2000s years, maybe. And I'm also an editor for virtualization.info, one of the most influential blogs in the industry. I used it to be a um, web application pen testers. Then I moved since a couple of years in virtualization environment. And that's what I'm doing most of the time right now. Before we start, I want to do a very quick pull. How many of you are in charge or use or handle security for virtualization environments? Raise your hands, please. Oh, almost everyone. Fine. That's the percentage I was expecting. Uh, I know about you. Um, well, that's exactly why I'm here. Because virtualization is becoming endemic. It's everywhere now. Uh, you can find it in almost every large enterprise uh, system, enterprise network. And there is a definite need, need for security. Virtualization is the building block for your own network. It's the building block for your own infrastructure. And it is a critical component of any large new deployments. However, security and virtualization has mostly been addressed until now with a lot of vaporware and management and policy talks. That's why I'm getting technical and talking to you about pen testing, which is quite, I have to break inside virtualization. That's the idea. Um, breaking inside virtualization means a lot of things. For instance, it means that you're hacking the underlying layer so you're actually attacking what's behind, what's under your servers. It means, most likely, that you will be able to assess all the systems locally. It means that we will have physical access, as far as virtualization goes, to the machines, which in turn means that you will be most likely able to hack them. If you can ma assess the uh, virtual machine console, well, then it's game over. It also means that you most likely will be able to bypass all those nice network access controls and access controls that you have been deployed. So if an attacker can get to the virtualization environment, you actually screw it. That's the point. And you also get multiple targets at once. If I can get inside your virtualization server, your SCESX or whatever kind of virtualization you're using, well, most likely I will have access to a lot of virtual machines. Uh, that's jackpot, basically, from an attacker perspective. In this talk, we will be using the attacker perspective. I guess you all are familiar with what pen testing means. It means that you are trying to break inside a virtualization solution. It means that you are patting up the head of the attacker, and you are thinking like he does. So if you look at virtualization, you have a lot of uh, stuff to gain. There is a lot of gain here. There is, uh, an, I mean, there is a huge benefit for an attacker to break virtualization. And it's almost everywhere. 96% of the Fortune 1000 company are using virtualization. And what's even more interesting, you get a small number of solutions actually deployed. Because in the end, I can only think of, well, a very small number of different solutions you can find around. So if you manage to have an exploit, to have attacks for that small number of virtualization solution, well, you get access to a lot of systems. You, get a, you can own a lot of system with a few exploits. I don't know about you, but a lot of system, few exploits, for me, is more or less heaven. Okay? And if you don't know about that, <laughs> OK, you do, you do, OK. And if you don't know about that, I strongly encourage you to convert uh, to the Flying Spaghetti Monster religion. Well, this said, this said, since we are speaking about virtualization, I guess you're all expecting 
that I speak about something in particular. So let's speak about the elephant in the room. This talk will not be about escaping the VM. No way. First of all, because I'm not able to, so that's, a, that's an interesting point. But there is another reason, actually. Because, yes, escaping the VM can be done. It has been done in the past, so we know it can be done. You can go from the virtualization, from the virtual machines to the host systems. But however, it will be due to a bug. It will be due to an exploit, likely. Not a design issue, most likely. It can be patched. And yeah, it will happen again in the future. But from a pen testing perspective, it doesn't really mind that much. Yeah, from a security perspective, it does, obviously. But if you're pen testing an infrastructure, that's not what you're really interested in, too. What you want to do as a pen tester is to be able to start with an IP address range and own whatever you find. That's more or less what you're trying to do. Uh, well, uh, well, that's at least what my customers tell me. Uh, here are the IP addresses. Uh, can I at least know? No, go, pen test. And yeah, most of the time, they don't even get, give you the right IP addresses, but that's not mad. So what we are going to do is attacking the virtualization infrastructure. That is, we are attacking the virtualization solutions. OK, how are we going to do that? I got a plan. So I like easy plans. I like plans with no, not really a lot of things to do. Well, my favorite things are the auto-pound modules, just click, play, and own, and wait, and get paid at the end. So that's what we are trying to do. Um, my plan is a three steps plan. Follow me here, please. Number one, recon. Number two, attack. Number three, pound. And in the end, beers, obviously. So that's the plan we are trying to follow. How are we going to do that? Well, the point is, in this environment, in this space, in pen testing virtualization, what we are lacking are the tools. There are really no tools to do that. Uh, most of the tools you are using to, for instance, I don't know, all the vulnerability scanners, they know very little about the virtualization tools, the virtualization systems, and are not really able to help you. Well, it might depend by f from the fact that I am going to, to tell you about some of the attacks that I discovered and they didn't. So most likely it's, it's that as well. But we actually need new tools to do the job done, to get the job done. So in this talk, I will be using a tool that I developed with the help of some fellow hackers uh, to show you some of the actual real-world attacks that you can perform on virtualization environments. The tool is Vasto. Vasto is a virtualization assessment tool and a nice city in Italy, by the way. And it is basically an exploit pack for Metasploit. Why? Because I don't like learning new tools every day of my life. Uh, maybe developing then, but not learning, definitely. So I wanted something which I was familiar with, which I could build on top of, and which would give me some standard features. I, what I really hated about the, the, other, the other tools is that they are like dispersed. So you have to use one gazillion tools to get the job done. I like to have a few tools. Um, so what we did is we developed our own framework, our own toolkit. Uh, Today, I released uh, beta 0 0.3. That's the third iteration of Vasto with new modules. Um, obviously, it was featured at the Arsenal yesterday. Yeah? Vasto? Um, it's secret. Uh, but, but you can guess at the end. During the question and answer, I, you, you can guess, and I will tell you if you get it. Uh, it means large, anyway, like me. So. Um, I have to, to say thanks to, to various fellow hackers for having helped me developing the tool. And this is the tool we are going to use for all our demos, so when you wake up, and uh, for all the, uh, the, the stuff we will do in the future. One thing about virtualization is that you, have, you see a lot of uh, vulnerabilities around. In the last years, there were some vulnerabilities disclosed, but not that many exploits. I don't know about you, but when I tried to find the exploits for the various vulnerabilities from the vendors, they didn't really release any exploit. Uh, maybe in some commercial pack, but don't really think that way. So no exploit. That's why I started writing Bust as well. OK. This, said, uh, this is a talk about pen testing virtualization, but you cannot really pen test an idea. You have to pen test on software. So in this talk, we will have a demo target. We will have a demo. We will have demos. And our demo target is VMware. Sorry for that. So uh, the point is that VMware is large. It's the most well-known vendor. Maybe they have the most complete solution, but that's an evaluation I'm not doing here. However, those are the bigger target, so the biggest target, so I'm shooting there. Easier to get, OK? So all the demos will be on VMware. Actually, 
I will be presenting a methodology as well. I mean, some points that you have to consider when you pen test virtualization, which you more or less can apply to any virtualization solution. All the exploits I'm revealing today were found during normal pen test activity. We have been pen testing virtualization solutions since a couple of years. So you can do that once you know the methodology. OK. This eight, let's get to the actual stuff. Uh, the first thing we have to solve is the recon phase. You know, we'll keep it short because we don't really care about recon. We, have, we want to, to hack. So the answer we have to, uh, to give is uh, to the question, how do 